Well, it was an emotional day as families in Uvalde, Texas, sent their kids back to school for the first time since a mass shooting killed 19 children and two teachers. The site of the massacre, Robb Elementary, has been permanently closed. And despite the ramped up security, some parents and kids say they still don't feel safe. CBS's Lilia Luciano is in Uvalde. The first day of school in Uvalde after a summer of rage and grief. The heightened security as children return to the classroom puts some parents at ease. I understand about the safety and stuff, but me as a parent, like I said, you know, from what I saw today, I, I feel pretty secure. The state and the district have put in new fencing, security cameras, and have added additional police officers and therapists. Many families, though, remain anxious, unwilling to send their kids back to school after one of the deadliest shootings in the nation's history. My girls are um, homebound. Yeah, and they'll be homebound for the rest of the year. And Monica Gallegos and Donnie Ray Valdez's daughters are among the more than 130 doing remote learning this semester. You feel like scared? it's not safe. Yeah, it's not safe to go back. Angeli Rodriguez lost her twin sister in the shooting. Their parents say Annabelle was Angeli's support system. It's hard that she's going to have to enter the following grades without her sister. This school, Flores Middle School, is where the twins were supposed to start the fifth grade today and where many of their classmates, including those who survived the shooting, are coming to school. But when they were dropped off back there, this fence had not been built yet. I got about a block away and then they, they couldn't do it, so I went back and got them. Being back in school was too much for two of Uzziah Garcia's siblings, who returned to class today for the first time since the death of their brother. They called you? Yeah. It's not something that you can just shake, you know? Because now you equate school with your brother being murdered, you know? So it, it's hard. Instead of beginning to heal, these parents have spent their summer becoming activists. At the top of their list of priorities is accountability, especially for the officers who responded to the shooting on May 24th. They say they also want to see more gun control, at least to see the minimum age required for someone to buy the kind of weapon used in the massacre go from 18 to 21. Nora. Lilia Luciano, thank you for all your reporting from Uvalde.